Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Michaela and I make diamond painting videos here on this channel. And today I'm doing my very first month in review video. I've never actually done a month in review video before. I, um, well, when I first started diamond painting, I only had one whip at a time and month in review videos just didn't make a ton of sense for that. Um, and as of a couple months ago, I started having multiple whips going at once and I figured it could be really fun every month to kind of give you guys an overview of if I finished any diamond paintings and what the progress of my current whips are. Um, so I'm excited because this month I actually have two completions and three whips going into the month of September. I actually technically have four whips, but to be honest, I didn't want to grab out my travel. Um, basically, it's like the mini dazzles it's the drink mini dazzles um i just did not feel like taking that out of the bag it's in um so i apologize about that but that's that's technically a whip but i'm just gonna i'll show you guys next month <laughs> um but anyways yeah i'm just gonna go through my two completed kits for the month of august and then the three whips i have going into september so i hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get right on into it okay so as you guys can probably see this is the first completion i had in august and i'm just gonna go ahead and get these so that way you guys can see a little bit more of them uh this is the mini dazzle cocktails edition and i actually have my logbook right here with all the information i'm just gonna pop this over here i do have a full poster view i typically do poster views of every kit i've completed so if you want a more in-depth look in any of these um definitely check the videos out but um, I finished this kit, actually, <laughs> I started it on August 10th of 2024 and then finished it August 11th, so this was a day for a day's work and they were really, really, really quick finishes. What I love about these mini dazzles from Diamond Art Club is that they are all special drills, so if you look really closely, also my light isn't on, what is up with me? <laughs> it's fine, the lighting was still fine, but, um... If you guys look closely, you guys can see that these are made up entirely of special drills. So they have, this one had, um, let's see, 18 fairy dust and one AB. So they're all made up of special drills. My favorite one, hmm, no one asked, but I'll tell you guys anyways, I really don't know. I kind of like this one the best. And I think it's just because it has the most of like the colors that I love, which is like the mintish green colors. Um, but they're all really, really pretty. And I actually really like the Bloody Mary simply because the other like paintings don't have the red color scheme in it really and that one had it the most heavy so i had a ton of fun working on this it was a really quick completion um like i said and i definitely want to collect more of these mini dazzles in the future like i said i I'm currently, I'm calling it my like travel kit when I go to my friend's apartment. She lives in the same apartment complex as me and um, I have the mini dazzle drinks uh, when I go over to her place because it's just easier to carry these mini dazzles rather than an entire uh, big diamond painting. So I definitely want to pick up more of the mini dazzles. I want to try out paint gem for sure. Um, just because these mini kits are so cute and they're such quick finishes and um, yeah, you guys, that is the first completion. Okay, so I so just switched up the angle a little bit, but the second completed kit that I did in August is Warm Witch. This is by Ivy Dolamore. This is so hard. I have all of the kits underneath this. <laughs> so I'm just trying to show you guys this kit a little bit. But um, as I mentioned before, I have done post reviews of all of the kits. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just give you guys her face again. <laughs> Because that's the prettiest part anyways. Actually, to be honest, I love I love the book. I think that's really cool. Um, but yeah, this is Warm Witch by Ivy Dolamore. And I finished this kit on August 21st. So I finished it this month. This was about a three month, mm, two and a half month kit. Um, I was working on this simultaneously with other kits. I initially started this kit because of my Ivy Dolamore event. Um, and I do plan on doing that event again next May. So if it's something you liked or if it's something you missed out on, do not fret. We are doing this again next year. Um, but yeah, this is the the painting I did for it, like my round painting for it. Um, yeah, I had a ton of fun with this one. It was just a lot of like very neutral colors, which isn't always my thing. Um, I much prefer bright colors. And like there were some parts that had some fun colors, like the leaves and of course like the flame around the book. Um, but mostly this was a very like neutral color palette, which again, not like a bad thing, just like not always my favorite to work with. Um, but there were some very fun elements on this painting. Um, it was also a round drill kit. I don't know if I mentioned that. And there actually are like guide circles on this canvas, which if you guys don't know, 
um, and I'll show you guys one of the symbols like if you guys can see that some of these symbols have a white circle around them those are guide circles and so it makes for a very challenging experience sometimes when you're trying to place drills down on the canvas because if it's not placed perfectly on the canvas it could look a little bit messy because you can see the symbol underneath or the white underneath when you're not really supposed to see it um like I think the white color had like a black <laughs> background around it like it's hard to see from a distance and obviously you're looking at it from a distance when you're looking at the canvas but um I guess it's just something to note I don't know if when they restock canvases like this if the guide circles are going to disappear or or if they still are here I've honestly have no idea <laughs> let me know in the comments if you know um but yeah I just wanted to point that out that there are guide circles at least on like my canvas there was um but overall this was a really fun canvas and I'm really glad I got it done in August so glad so let's go ahead and move on into the next kit okay so I'm actually filming this video on Monday September 2nd um so this next kit I actually started yesterday September 1st for drills and chills um it's an event hosted by two lovely ladies in the community Katie over at Diamonds and Washi and Lindsay over at Emeralds and Fairy Lights and basically you can work on a Halloween fall kit and it's just a really fun community event um, and so this is the project I chose for it and I did start it yesterday I got this much done yesterday this is a round painting um, this is Witch's Flower Shop by Mrs. Butter D I don't even think I mentioned that this is a 20 by 28 inch or a 50.7 by 70.6 centimeter it's gorgeous and um, yeah I've only done a couple sections but I'm so excited to see where we're at next month with this painting and see how much more I get done um I am like not the biggest round fan honestly I've mentioned it a lot of times I'm not the biggest fan of round kits however I think if the colors are like nice and vibrant enough I don't hate it and this one has a really pretty color palette that honestly just makes it really fun to work on um so yeah this is <laughs> this is what I have done so far and this was kind of more my September start anyways not really August but when I'm filming these videos honestly it doesn't really matter I'm not that picky um but yeah I've gotten two sections done I love the birdie we got some scissors like we're already seeing some fun progress we see part of a flower I love that like you could only do two sections and see so much honestly progress I think that's really cool um but yeah this has been a super fun painting so far I'm excited to continue it and let's go ahead and move on into my next whip okay so my next painting is inside watery eyes this is by Margaret Morales this is such a fun painting I am about a little over halfway done with it I think or maybe we're kind of hitting the halfway point but you guys look look at this this is stunning like oh my god honestly seeing this on camera this is so cool I love all the different colors this has been so much fun a ton of confetti if I'm being very honest like Margaret Morales in general because her artwork is very watercolor effect -y, <laughs> you tend to get a lot of like kneading a lot of confetti with that um, and so if you guys can kind of see yeah I think you can see actually underneath the release paper her face is coming up in this painting soon we're just not quite there yet um, but it's kind of fun doing her face kind of last I don't know it's not really last but it is like part of the way up the canvas this is a 22 by 27.6 inch or a 55.8 by 70 centimeters so pretty like decent size I feel like it's not too big um I've been working on this one for a bit I don't I don't exactly remember when I started it I think I started it like right after my Vegas trip so it was July so I've been working on this for a bit but again when I'm working on other pieces at the same time it just kind of makes sense that I'm not like super far in any of them um so yeah that is inside watery eyes by margaret morales and then the last painting i have to show you guys is little lizard garden this is by rose Catherine khan this is my big like landscape type painting and i'm just trying to there we go that's better this is that part over here i'm about two and a half rows into this one. Oh my gosh this is so so pretty yeah, this is my current landscape painting i love how like all of like the flowers tend to be over here not like really but like kind of this bottom part and then to the right or not the right this is the left <laughs> to the left there's more of like the actual pond which is so cool we actually have a lizard that I discovered yesterday he's uh right here if you guys can see the little lizard friend um but no this one has been so fun this is a square drill kit this is a uh 98 by 70 centimeters so like this is a big painting and I've barely made a dent in it but it's so fun whenever I um work on this painting I always have such a fun time I just love all of the colors and um it's just a bunch of like greens and like there's a lot of mintish greens which is my favorite color so I always have such a good time working on this painting so I'm excited to see the progress I make on it over the next month but 
yeah you guys that's it for my month in review video um i wasn't entirely sure I think what I should touch on but I think I think I did okay let me know in the comments if in the future you guys want me to like show you guys something different or not like something different but like present anything differently or just let me know your thoughts in the comments again totally my first time filming this kind of video and I want to hear all your thoughts in the comments so thank you guys so much for watching this video today I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below if you're not already and I will catch you in my next video bye guys